Good morning from Cologne. It is Sunday. It's our last day here and it's supposed to be 31 degrees today. So I have opted for a maxi dress. We've just packed up. We're waiting for our friends to come pick us up. And um, yeah, my feet are absolutely aching. Yesterday we did 23, oh, I did 23,000 steps and he did 25,000 steps and blisters yeah that's all i need to say so i'm hoping that today i mean we've still got lots to do but i'm hoping that it's not going to be like as intense right now we're going to have breakfast probably a turkish breakfast if not american i'm not the biggest fan of the german breakfast we had the german breakfast yesterday you would have seen in the vlog it wasn't like suitable for sort of vegetarian or halal diets <laughs> so yeah we're not not the biggest fan there's a lot of ham and bread i'm really happy that we're here it's been a great weekend um, and it's been a lovely like sort of step away from normality. It feels a bit like a dream, but it's been so good spending time with them. And yeah, looking forward to what today brings. I take the Kubis Okay, so we just had breakfast in this really nice um, bakery, like proper fresh, fresh soft bread. I had a cinnamon bread and like chocolate bread. It was so good. And now it took us ages to find parking. We finally did and we're outside the Chocolate Museum, um, which is by Lint. So I've been to the Cadbury's one in the UK, which is nice. This one, I think it's going to be a similar thing that like we're going to show how to make chocolate, how it's produced. And yeah, we're going to see what it's about. It's so hot today, guys. It's such nice weather. And it's uh, only 11.44. I'm already done 4,400 steps. The king of chocolate and business pioneer 20th century. showing how Coco used to be transported. Guys, look, this is a chocolate school. How cool. I don't think you can go in. There's like a massive chocolate fridge. A map. I'm guessing they're teaching people about the chocolate. This is what we came here for. We came here for Lint. <laughs> so cool. Okay, so that thing there was like you have to press down to see like how much pressure you can pump in with your hand. I got up to trumpet, or car tire. But something I just learned was that bicycle tire needs more pressure than car tire, which is insane. My favorite skincare product, the oh. Lovely essence, cocoa butter. Um, dark chocolate protection over here. Uh, no, don't grab chairs. Oh, we've got the Lush chocolate lip scrub thing here. Quite a few Lush things here. It's really cool. Over 50% of the cocoa bean has fat in it, which is where the cocoa butter comes from. And that is what's so moisturizing. Right, we're going through here. Oh, this is the lint bit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Chocolate is going through there, and then in this machine, in this machine here, it's been packaged really, really quickly and put into that box. Here's a label machine working so fast. This is yeah, breaking it up. It's like a little sewing machine, isn't it? Oh, 
we're going up the stairs now. I think this is for like the more detailed stuff. You can have a tour here, but we're not choosing that. Oh wow, this is all the detailed things here. So, for example, look at this. Flowers in there. I think you can also like order things here as well. And then like right in front of me, there's a huge lint. Well, I don't think lint is German, by the way. We were told it's not, we told it was Swiss. But yeah, so a huge lint chocolate thinning. Basically, they have to keep rotating it to keep the actual chocolate hollow. So you know when you have like chocolate eggs and things like that. That makes sure that the chocolate doesn't stick inside. I don't know how long they have to keep turning it for. It's pretty amazing. So it says here, after a cooling time of around 45 minutes, the finished figures can be removed from the mold. In the case of two coloured hollow figures like these parrots are amazing. Parts of the mold must be coated in advance with one of the kinds of chocolates being used. Only when this is cool, the second time the chocolate will be added. So actually it takes a long time and a lot of like um, care to ensure that these turn out right. But oh my gosh guys, these chocolate creations are insane! They're beautiful and they're made in the cologne in the so you can design your own chocolate bar here. It's so cool. Choose what you want inside it. So I'm not really sure like what this has to do with chocolate as such because it's just more like history. I don't know. So this bit is, which is all about history has just told us that when chocolate came to Europe it was first regarded as medicine because it was like less sweet and then over the course of the 17th century it became a popular beverage among the European uh, nobility. Um, and it was originally like a hot spice drink, but then they started putting more and more sugar in it. It was a very powerful symbolic significance associated with drinking chocolate. So it kind of drew a line between them and for, um, not foreigners, them and commoners. Yeah, so I just read a little piece about Rodolphe Lint, who obviously is the person who like founded this company. He started when he was 18. He didn't have much money, so he bought an old abandoned windmill and he just got some like old equipment which wasn't good enough and then he kept trying to experiment with it and like find like a way to make it work and then one day by accident he left the machine on on friday and didn't come back till monday and that's how the conching process was like discovered by accident which is so cool so the, the process i showed you guys like in the previous clip that was Look because how much sold it for 1.5 million wow at that time girl. wow so the problem though was that he refused to expand the production. This is so cool, like he basically discovered it completely by accident and that meant that he he basically discovered the, the melting of the chocolate and then he sold his business in 1899 um, for 1 1.5 million gold, right? Can you say that? Insane, insane. So that just goes to show that mistakes are what makes life. You know, like if he had not made the mistake, if he turned it off, he never would have discovered it, he probably would have never made money, and he's made fortune, a huge fortune for his, you know, generations to come, and from that, he's made a huge, huge business for himself, um, and a huge name for himself, and so that's, I'm very, very inspired by that. So this part of the museum is full of like boxes from all, like, all over the world and Rabi was saying that in Turkey they still have boxes similar to this, like reusable high quality boxes and it's tradition for you to go with a, like a box of chocolates like this to when you go for a girl's hand to give the family like chocolates like this in a very presentable beautiful box so I thought that was really cool actually. This whole thing is just full of historic stuff like that it's nice okay so we just left the chocolate factory i would highly recommend it if you're ever in germany um things to see there was like interactivity it was a really really good museum and even walker enjoyed it even though he doesn't really like museums but he, he likes going around and we left with a bit of chocolate as well now we're going to go on the cable cars to see like a view of the city we were going to do the boat rides but we just thought we'll just choose one because we don't have that much time
see the heat? It is so hot. We've just come to the central mosque in Qom. I wish I could show you guys from the outside, but I'll put a picture on the screen here so you guys know. Um, because you can't really see until you are like standing back. But we've just seen it inside and there's a Mr. Chicken shop in there, which is really cool. Really modern. Oh, hang on, hang on. You guys can see here. You got me in my feelings. I gotta be real with it. Okay, let go. Robby, I know you love me. Cause I need you. I will never ever leave from beside you. Cause I want you. And I need you. And I'm down for you always. Robby, I know you love me. Cause I need you. I will never ever leave from beside you. Cause I want you. And I need you. And I'm down for you always. Lord, you know me, I'm standing right before thee I feel it when I'm praying, I know it that you got me I gotta make some choices, shy down is bringing options But I be going off, and he don't know when it's stop yeah. it's Protect stop. me a lot, without you now I be falling Jenna is my goal, give me stress so I can hunt it Like my heart up, there's no one that I be serving You are my Lord, you are both the seven heavens Heavens, thank you, Yarabi Sometimes I feel pain, but I know you love me Thank you many, many you treat me special, Lord, even though we plenty. Bobby, I know you love me, cause I need you. I will never ever leave from beside you. Cause I want you, and I need you. And I'm down for you always, Bobby. I know you love me, cause I need you. I will never ever leave from beside you. Cause I want you, and I need you. And I'm down for you always. Okay, guys, that is the vlog coming to an end. Our trip to Colm. Colm, Colm. It's over, it has been so good and inshallah we're going to travel more with these guys and just in general, we are so excited, we're so excited, but yeah, time to go home, I can't believe we have work tomorrow and I can't believe I have like four weeks left of working at my school, time is moving so fast, but uh, if you enjoyed this video then you know what to do, make sure you subscribe, hit the like. Leave a comment if you want to. Have, let's have a chat in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye. Love me, cause I need you. I will never ever leave from beside you. Cause I want you. And I need you. And I'm down for you always.